Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Demolition D, back with a brand new track. Fucking gross. <laughs> Fuck my big black ass. You ever look at a fad like truck nuts, or crocs, or minions, and think, yeah, no, that's never gonna last, only to learn as time goes by that you have frighteningly underestimated the staying power of even the shallowest of trends? Because that's kinda how I feel about today's topic, One Punch Man. Kidding, kidding, just simmer down. Even I'm not that contrarian. Now let me tell you why I dislike this popular show. I've never been fond of the phrase flavor of the week. Because even as a show's 15 minutes of internet fame waxes and wanes into the unknown, oh yeah, pile of regurgitated half-baked misery that is an anime news network popularity poll, the phrase still hints at perhaps a microcosm of taste. And when it comes to Umaru's taste, I'd say it's comparable to an unsalted cracker. I'll eat it, because my low self-esteem dictates just about every standard in my life, but like a cheap prostitute, I can still identify things that I don't want in my mouth. Now, I'm actually doing this one upon mass request. I've been away for a while, so I thought I owed it to cover something that's actually asked of me for once, which I don't normally do. Normally, I wish most of you were dead. <laughs> I'll bet you have. I'll bet you were wondering when she'd go the way of the Chaika, or Hestia, and stop being a reaction image for every fucking post under the sun. Demo, can you like make a point already, or maybe explain the plot before you try and rationalize how shit a show is with your own creatively bankrupt generalizations? Sure, easy. Easier than DJ Khaled explaining the plot of the new Star Wars. Another one. Buy me a uh, game on each hand. No, Maro. You have to get up and clean the shelf of each spagaragus. But I want potato on each hand, or else I'll flip a tit. No. <laughs> Enjoy your game. Play, rinse, repeat 12 whole episodes like a ruler of mediocrity, where inch by inch you feel like less of a productive member of society. Not at all because the show does anything to accurately portray what being a useless member of society is actually like, but because for a total of six hours, you realize that you've just sat through the anime equivalent of the Big Bang Theory, trying so hard to appeal to both the Watamote crowd and the seasonal garbage eaters that like things slightly less gross, that you're ashamed to show your face again at work. Back up to what I said about play, rinse, repeat. The fact that somewhere along the line the anime somewhat hints at Umaru growing up and vaguely realizing that just maybe she's a bit too self-centered, only to end the same way the show began, effectively culminating in her attempting to trick her brother into buying a car. Like a bad hand job, that rubbed me the wrong way. But I guess that doesn't work out, so she just aims a little lower, asking for manga and games again. <laughs> just like you, viewer. You like games? Metal Gear reference. Bazinga. I mean, I know it's not necessarily a kid show, but if I were a hot single Japanese housewife, I'd be worried if my impressionable little nips eagerly awaited the weekly installment of this shit, teaching kids everywhere to be self-entitled little buttholes. And as much as I love little buttholes, I fear for the future of our youth. The music is so bad, okay? Now you think I'm just reaching for more things to complain about, right? For a show like this one, is the composition really worth the scrutiny? Why even mention it? Because it's actually that bad. For the love of all that is anime, who in Miyazaki's name allowed for this atrocious composition of dates and dudes during Umaru's transformation scenes, which there are many of, mind you? Hey yo, family Lamborghini, what kind of BGM you want? Oh yeah, well, I don't know, just bust out the fucking wooden train flute and go to town, I guess. Hey, I'll grab my kazoo. I'm really feeling it. What the fuck? Bad dog! If I had to say one nice thing, it'd be Ebina. If I had to say two nice things, it'd be Ebina's double dudes. <laughs> I mean, I sure as heck can't say anything flattering about the rest of the cast. Especially the brother when THAT FUCKING FAGGOT shows less self-respect than your mom on the floor of a football locker room. American football, of course. Everyone knows Europeans hate pussy, but I digress. I won't say there are no redeeming qualities, because that's not the case. But every now and again, you gotta bust out the scales of justice and dictate the worth. Sometimes the cast, when together, could evoke a grin or a giggle from me, and I acknowledge that. But sitting there for 12 episodes only to dredge an infrequent 
ounce of comedic value from an otherwise dry well of comedy felt more like a chore than any kind of payoff and for a comedy you can suck my balls. The bland execution of a cute idea dampens just about anything the series had going for it or its staying power. Oh wait, scratch that last one. She's still around. Like a bad joke. And typically, I like bad jokes. Here's one. What's orange, round, and has holes all over? If you said Mars, you're wrong. Now, I can read a lot of the comments before they're even written. That it's less about substance and more about just being fun. I love those. Just toying your brain off. Why can't you be more like your cousin Johnny? Gee, I don't know, Aunt Diane. Maybe because Johnny is a fucking retard. And I'm sure a lot of people did have fun with it. And that's fine. But I did not. And this is without pitting it up against a gold standard. It's slice of life, obviously. Literally zero expectations going in. And this was my conclusion. I don't know. Perhaps I've become too jaded to have fun. Here, let me check. <laughs> nope, still got it. It's kind of why I felt the need to cover this one. Maybe not with an in-depth review explaining everything wrong with it, and even the better parts about it, but at least a should you watch. Because of the overwhelming inquiry a show like this gets when people see this horrid little creature's face everywhere, and wonder if they should bother with it. No one's immune to confusion. Hell, I was confused. So let me do my job and save you from wasting your precious time. If I can suck farts out your ass while you sleep, then lie under your bed while trying to guess what you had for dinner till sunrise, and I can surely, on a less intimate level, recommend a good show. Or in this case, a near offensively mediocre one. Also, please don't look under your bed. Should you watch Himoto Umaru-tan? What's wrong with y'all niggas? What's wrong with you? Is that